What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this one we're going to be taking a look at some notification shortcuts, a convenient way to install notification shortcuts on your PS4 which uses the notification system to create basically like desktop shortcuts like you would have on your computer to access certain settings on the PS4. So you can use them as shortcuts to launch, uh, you know, settings that are normally buried inside submenus or things like the web browser to access an exploit site immediately or the debug settings, a shortcut for the debug settings, all of that stuff can be done using these permanent notifications. And this was like originally done by various different people. Jose Gonzalez, I think, figured out how to edit the database to add these shortcuts. But then you have people like SA and Tech, who created like the PS4 toolset, which I think has a permanent notifications functionality. But this current package by Moore One or Marone, basically does it in two pretty easy steps. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that here in this video. So first things first, we're gonna be doing this using a USB drive. So make sure you do have a USB and make sure you've already loaded up your gold hen payload. Go on your favorite exploit host and load the latest gold hen payload so that you're up and running with gold hen on your PS4. Okay, so from here, we're gonna switch on over to our computer and you want to go to your USB drive on your computer. Obviously make sure that it's in XFAT or FAT32 format. And then we're gonna download this package from Moore One, the PS4 notifications package, but this contains two package files. One of them is the payload guest package from Al Azov, which can be used to then launch the notifications package. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that in right here, copy it to the root of the USB and then we'll unplug the USB and plug it into our PS4. Okay, so back on the PS4, we're then going to go to our gold hen debug settings. I'll set this to USB only. So we get our two package files showing here and we're going to install the notifications package here and payload guest. So notifications package, payload guest. I'm using background installation, so I'll just install them in the background. And there we go, payload guest and permanent notifications have been installed. So you'll notice that it says install one for notifications, install two for payload guest. So all we need to do is first of all run the install permanent notifications. So as soon as you run it here it says data file copier done, copy finished, you can now close the application. So we'll now go ahead and close it right here. And then all we have to do is run the payload guest application and in here, you may have other payloads if you have, you know, payloads in the data folder like I do. But if you scroll along, eventually you'll find the notification payload we're looking for, which is down here at the bottom. So notification shortcut. So all we're going to do is launch this. Loading notification shortcut. And this will actually apply the notifications right there. Exit PS4. Back to see changes. So there we go. That's basically it. It should be up and running here. So you can now use the notifications to access things. So if we go to notifications, you can see we have a debug settings shortcut. So we can select this and it'll take us straight to the debug settings. So a quicker way of accessing it than going into the settings. In order for that shortcut to work, you do need to have the debug settings enabled, of course, inside the gold hen menu. We also have activate gold hen. This will launch an exploit host. So this will just immediately launch the browser and go to this specific host, PS4 exploit 9.00. And this will obviously have your payloads for running things like Gold Hen. So when you next boot up your PS4, you can just go to that notification shortcut and run Gold Hen from there. Obviously, I'm already running it here. Then we also have other options. You also have a shortcut for the ESP32 S2 if you're running one of those chips, if you have a host for that. And that's how you're loading the exploit. You've got a shortcut there that will take you straight to that host. Then also you've got storage. So you can select this to access your, your system storage. Again, instead of having to go into the settings, and then we can also go to USB storage from here as well. We'll take us straight there. And then we even have system settings. So quick access to the system settings. And then what else have we got? We've got library. We've got controller options, application save data management for copying save files between USB and internal storage. We've got the capture gallery, just the regular settings, I guess you could access from here as well. And then we also have, you know, PlayStation camera settings, PlayStation voice operations, parental controls, network options, uh, rest mode and video output information. So quite a lot of options right there for your notifications. And you can also access the notifications by holding down the PS button and going down to the notification settings in the quick menu. And you can also access all of them from here as well. So this is honestly 
pretty damn handy. It does make it a little bit more convenient for accessing some of these settings, especially the ones that are normally buried in a few submenus in the settings menu. This can be a much faster way of accessing it. And it's all set up pretty nice with icons and, you know, little icons next to the title and everything, uh, which is pretty handy. So yeah, very nice stuff. Very quick and easy to set this up as well. It's just two package files that you have to install. You run the install permanent notifications one first, let it install it. Once it's installed, you then run the actual payload from payload guest and it's installed. And once it's installed, even if you reboot the PS4, as you can see here, even though I'm rebooting the PS4, it is still installed. So you'll still have all of those options after you reboot. Obviously, things like the debug settings are not going to work until you've actually loaded the gold hen payload. But anyway, still a very handy feature and a very quick and easy way to get that set up. So hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.